wash away the rain and the pain of obium. You ready to go? Obium. Don't put that. I'm putting it on. No, you do this to me every time. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Hi. Chris. So I look hey, Mr. Bog. Look who I got to join me today. He he's finally found me. He's been MIA on YouTube. Finally got him to join in. Yeah. So today we have an unboxing of Ooh. some new yarn from Hobium Yarns. First off, I do want to mention that I do not have a tutorial for this hat. This hat is knitted and I do not know how to knit. Um, it came from a fellow YouTuber and my good friend Gary. His YouTube channel is called Urban Yarns. He does have a uh, free pattern. Um, if you go check out his channel, um, I'm, it's called the Bush Tracker Beanie. You'll be able to, uh, it's not a tutorial, but he does have a free uh, pattern. You'll be able, if you knit, you'll be able to find it there. So shout out to Gary. Hi, Gary. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to mine and me and Mr. Bob's. Mainly hers, but he he's I'm a here too. I he, do stuff. He does. He's guest appearance and sometimes we always like new subscribers. I'm the behind the scenes guy. <laughs> okay, so if you're not familiar with Hobium, Hobium is based in Turkey. Now they are one of my favorite um, online out of the U.S. places to buy yarn. My second. Um, and they What's have your other favorite at? Well, Warehouse, Warehouse is my first. <laughs> but I do like Hobium a lot too. Now, um, I'm not affiliated with Hobium at all. I bought this yarn myself, all of it. And I do not have affiliated links to where if you buy the yarn, I get paid. I don't have any of that. I don't want any of that. In fact, am I getting paid? We don't even care if you buy the yarn, do we, Mr. Bud? Um. No, not really. We just, I just, but am I, I always, getting paid? I just want to know am I getting paid. No, you ain't getting paid. You promised. I didn't promise you nothing. You, I said if you kept my little fridge down here filled and my, picked up all my garbage all the time out of here, you, I'd pay you a weekly allowance and you, you don't do it. How much was I going to get paid? What was the negotiations? Um, Ten dollars a week. Ten bucks. <laughs> I would have been all over that. Had That's I a joke, guys. We're just kidding. He doesn't get an allowance. It was a hundred bucks a week, first of all. No, he doesn't get an allowance, and he does. I'm not joking about though. I clean my own room. Well, I try to get my kids to do it, but I clean my own room. They don't do it anymore well, either. Babe. So no, I do have to clean it. Anyway, you brush your own teeth. <laughs> you drink out of a big girl cup. I do. Oh, all right, you're embarrassing me. I'm sorry. I'm probably, oh. I'm probably embarrassing myself. And I do have a tutorial for that scarf back there. You guys should check it out. Which scarf? Your head's in the way. Oh. That scarf right back Isn't there? Isn't it pretty? I love it. Okay. It's rainbowy. Okay, let's get it going. Okay, Hobium is nice. They ship DHL and they usually ship pretty quickly. You usually get it within three to five days. Um, and that's from Turkey to the United States where I live. I live in Illinois. And then um, shipping, um, they do have free shipping if you spend $150 or more, otherwise you have to pay shipping. Now, they had some new yarn I'm super excited to get and try, but I wasn't quite sure of the weight because sometimes I've noticed on Hobium's um, site their weights of their yarns can be misclassified. So I was kind of not knowing really what to get. But I have something special in mind for this yarn. This is one I wanted to get I really like bad. Okay, now this is Rowan yarn. Rowan yarn is a very, very good brand of yarn. You want to look it up? Sure. Hey, what's that? Denim, denim Revive. Denim Revive. Made with recycled denim and recycled cotton. I wanted this color so bad. It's like a... Um, For sure. It reminds me of a reverse Buckeye. No, it doesn't. No, uh, because if you look at a Buckeye, it's that color on the outside, and then it has a little circle that says color. Oh, you mean counting the tag? Yeah, I guess so. It's got little flecks of color in it, and I really like the flecked yarn a lot. Okay, so this... Um, now, what does it say that is it this is? brown? Yes. What does oh, it say it is on the, on the page? It weight. says if medium. Medium weight number four. Okay, I thought that's what they classified it as. Okay. So, 
it's 95% cotton, 5% other fibers. Made, but it made with recycled denim and recycled cotton. It says acrylic here, 5% acrylic. Where's the denim? I guess that's the cotton, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Okay. It's just a little lighter than I was hoping for. I had a feeling it was going to be lighter than what they said. Matches the picture, though. Doesn't it? Made in Italy. Um, so let me read what it says uh, about it down there. Okay, so there are 100 meters, which is about 110 yards per ball. Um, 95 cotton, 5 acrylic, and... It, they classify it as a medium weight, which is a four weight. I had a feeling it was going to be a little bit thinner than that. I'd say it's about a three weight, but I like to hold it up and show everybody what they think. It's not a bad three weight. I, I, I went and looked on other sites, and some sites were classifying it as a sport weight. So, you know, you never really know. Is but, sport weight thinner? Yes. I'm going to give that a good three weight right there. I like it, and I'll still use it. I concur. You concur? It's not the, I don't know, it's not the thickest three weight ever, but I like it still. Nonetheless, it's pretty. So, I had, the thing is with Hobium, you can, how much are they a piece? Uh, 42.10 for a 10 pack, so. No, you're on the wrong side, you're on their Turkish site. Hobiumyarns.com, not Hobium.com. Oh, Hobium <laughs> He's on their Turkish site. <laughs> I'm a noob. <laughs> you big yarn noob. Okay, there it is. Let's type it in here. It's probably new. If you, if you go down a little bit. Dear number me by right there. Boom. Now I bet it says four weight. Oh, six dollars. Six dollars? Six dollars a ball. But that is a name that is a very name brand yarn Rowan is. Go down a little bit. Oops. You're going too far. There you go. Yes. They classed it as a yeah, uh, worsted weight number four, which is it's very much a three weight. But it's still light three weight. It's still very pretty. I like that a lot. Uh, what I was saying is six dollars a bowl. It's kind of pricey, but for 100 it, meters, how many yards did you say that was? About like 110. Oh, 110. And um, but like I said, Rowan is is a pretty good brand of yarn, so it's not really ever cheap. Anyways, if you buy by they sell you can buy singles or you can buy 10 packs from Hobium, and if you buy by the 10 pack, you get 10 percent off. Okay. And then I got some of it in black. Let me see this. I was gonna mix this brown and black together. Here's the black. It's got little white flecks in it. Well, anyways. So, this says it's made with recycled denim and recycled cotton. Uh-huh. And this one says, yeah, recycled denim and recycled cotton. I was going to mix these together and make something um, nice since it's lightweight. You guys like those colors together? I do. I'll uh, make I it. see. It's cotton twill. Yeah, denim is cotton. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on to a different one. Okay, and then they had this new, but unfortunately they only had not like not very much of it. Oh, I like those colors. Yes. Now this is yarn art uh, ambiance. Ambiance. This reminds me. And I would be almost bet ninety nine point nine 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 percent certain that this is just like ice yarns, um, Elena Bella yarn that they sell. You don't have any ice yarn, do you? Oh, I got rid of all my ice yarn. I don't buy the ice yarn anymore. But you can look it up. Ice yarns. Lena Bella. This is what that is. I'm pretty certain. But anyways, this is called Yarn Art Ambiance. Is Lena, this the red ice yarns? Okay. Yeah. Lena Bella was my favorite ice yarn set that they had. No, no, no. Oh, here it is. That's not it. No. This Type is... in Ambiance. The blue shades. Oh, Ambiance? Oh, Look that one. Looks like it doesn't. It's twenty percent wool, eighty percent acrylic. No, nope, nothing. Okay, it's it's close to that, but anyways, this is very pretty. It's a roving style, and you can see that roving style. It's just like one ply. Um, They're all out of, out of stock. Yeah, I noticed they didn't have a lot of these in but stock. But it said back in stock soon. So. So this, they classify this as a lightweight three, which I'm going to say it's more like a four, but as with roving, they classify it as a four weight on their site. It says lightweight three here. I'm going to agree with the four weight. I always let you guys see it so you guys can be the judge yourself there. That's pretty, uh, 
poor weighty. Okay, hand wash, lay flat, made in Turkey. So, I don't know, it may not be an exact replica of this ice urn, but I bet there's some ice urns that's almost like this. Anyways, how much is this, babe? Three dollars and fifty cents per skin. Three dollars and fifty cents a ball, or you can buy about the five pack and get ten percent off. I've got a little. Oh, is someone talking popcorn? Someone talking popcorn to the. Two hundred and seventy-four yards per ball. Bring, bring it to Isaac. He can open okay. It. Okay. So this is a new one too, and I know they have, this is oh. they have this on ice arms too, but I got it from Hobie. So I don't buy from ice arms. No more. Now this is called Yarn Art Pacific. Oh, Pacific. It is two hundred and eighteen yards. And it's classified as a two weight, which is probably a lighter three or a thicker two. It's a roving style. On here it says three. Okay, well, they got their classification right. You, It might be a light three. Okay, and it's 20 wool, 80 acrylic. Now, it's made in Turkey. Now, I am 100% sure this ice yarn has this too. It's called Rosetta on ICE's website. They have it in a two weight on ice and a four weight. Um, but since I don't buy from ice yarns, I got it from Hobium. It's very pretty yarn. I Why do. Don't you buy from ice yarn? I had a very bad customer experience with them, an extremely bad one. And I don't want to discuss it because I don't want to talk bad about a yarn company. But I will just say. All right, leave it at that. Bad experience. Bad experience. And it was bad enough to make me not want to buy from them again. So. Gotcha. I like Hobium better, anyways. They. Um, they I like it that you don't have to, you get free shipping after $150, and you don't have to buy the whole pack like you do at Ice Orange. You can buy one ball if you want. Oh, ice Orange, you, you have to buy 10. You have to buy, time. they have like eight packs or four packs, two packs, and you have to pay <laughs> lots of shipping. So you don't ever get it free. I mean, you can spend $10,000 and you still, have to, pay the shipping. you still have to pay shipping, and your, your shipping will probably be $9,000. Okay, so... That's no joke either. Anyways. I'm sorry. Pretty. Anyways. $2.10. $2.10 a ball. For 218 yards. For 218 yards. It's a lightweight. I do love the color. It's pretty though. What color is that? that they have is... lots of pretty colors. Oh, just, I was going to say a cool one. I hope they get it in the four weight. I got a 10 pack of this. How much is in each one? 218 yards. Oh, wow. So you got two yeah. bells and... I was really, there's nice. another Rowan in here that I was super excited to get, but I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, this is a new Tehobium too. It's called Lauren and Basic. So I'm guessing it's kind of just like a basic. Um, maybe, I can't remember if it was a three weight or a four weight yarn. That's nice. That feels good. Um, you know, kind of your average acrylic. That feels good. It's pretty soft. Kind of like, uh, Not scratchy. Red Heart with Love, maybe similar you know you could it's scarfable see wouldn't scratch you up so that's what that is and a pretty red there are 328 yards 100 percent acrylic made in turkey they classify it as a lightweight three and i would say that's a thicker three but yeah three on the website too it's nice i like that i could use that two dollars and fifty cents two dollars and fifty cents and if you buy five you get ten percent off and i did buy five i got them for 225 a piece that's pretty good yeah and it had 300 what in it 328 yards it is a lightweight three but it is a very it's a thicker lightweight yeah. three you could also More say that it's a thin four i don't know that's a pretty good deal yeah um that's i like that i've seen so far. I the best. Oh, so you mean out of all this? Yeah. That's the best deal. I like that. I would, um, so far I would repurchase uh, everything that I got, except maybe not this, only because it's so thin. I do love this, and I do hope they get it in a four weight. I would definitely buy the crud out of that. Okay. Ooh, this looks promising. I was excited to get this. This it's is speaking my saying. language, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yarn art, Manhattan, Manhattan. All of it was so sparkly. Oh, woo. that! I, if you don't know me, I love browns, coppers, oranges. Those are kind of like some of, like dark, you know, rusty oranges. Those are some of my favorites. Look at that! Oh, 
Oh, that is pretty. Yarn Art Manhattan, I would definitely repeat by that. Huh? They got some pretty colors. But, 218 me yards. Okay, 218 yards. It's 56 metallic, 7% wool, 7% viscose, and 30% acrylic. It feels fine, scarfable. I can't, you can't test you can it, on, it, your beard, it on, my beard. on your beard. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it's chain spun, I believe. I can't tell. Let me feel again. Yeah, it's chain spun. What would you, wait, does it say it is? It says it's a three weight. On the, on the package, it says it's a two weight. It's definitely, definitely not a two weight. I'd say that is a nice thick three weight. Yeah, that is pretty. Here, but yeah, that looks pretty cool. I will definitely be using this, keeping this one. A lot of this I throw in giveaways, but I am going to keep my Rowan and I am going to keep this. But the, you know, a lot of the stuff I buy to show you the new yarns and then I give them away. But this one I probably will keep. This would make such a beautiful, beautiful shawl. Night on the town with this. Night, night in Manhattan. That's what they should have named it. So pretty. I'm gonna show. Make one. Let's go to Manhattan. You know, I never leave state of Illinois. They have good bakeries there, don't they? I I buy from the bakeries online. I buy from New York bakeries you online. Can't smell it. It's <laughs> not the experience. You gotta hey, go. We're in the shop. I just bought some black and white. From, I know. from a bakery in New York. I don't York. like the black and whites. Oh man, I love black and whites. I've had a Cookies. few different kinds and I don't like them, but she loves them. I bought St. Patrick's Day black and white, so they're actually green and white or black and green. But either way, they're going to taste just as good. I can't wait to get them. So that Pretty is sweet. very pretty. $4. Definitely. $4 for a Oh, $4 more. a ball. 10% off if you get 10. I bought 10. 360, beautiful, 360 beautiful yarn. Beautiful yarn. I love that. That's very nice yarn. Okay, and here's some more Rowan that I was really super excited to get, and I wanted to get it in white since spring is coming up, and summer is coming up. I knew I'd make something out of it. And white has such, is I it, like. The same as the others. It's Rowan Cotton Cashmere. Now you know I love, if you follow me, you know I love cashmere. I love it a lot. Mr. Body, keep it on camera. Your camera Stop keeps that. Going like this. I didn't you do. It. Um, it does not move. I, I haven't moved an inch. I'm right here. Okay, Rowan again. Like I said, is a very good brand of yarn. It's not the cheapest yarn ever. This is Rowan Cotton Cashmere. I cannot wait. Let me guess. It says it's a three. Let's read it. Let's read it. Made in Italy. Rowan. Most Rowan is. Let's see. Let's see, there are 137 yards. I wasn't expecting a lot out of that. Um, it doesn't say. If it does, I, I, can't, I don't see it. 85 cotton, 15 cashmere. How, cashmere, how much? What's it say on there? It says a four here. It says a four weight. But I figured it'd be one off. Six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. <laughs> yeah, I paid six dollars a ball for it. Well, did you get 10? Did yeah. You, then you paid 540. That still doesn't help make me feel better. Anyways, um, that is, I'll let you guys make your judgment on that. If I had to call it, I would call it a uh, three three weight, thicker three. Thicker, not not thicker like, not like Mandela. You know, a Mandela three weight's like super, super thin. Mm -hmm. This is a nice three weight. Maybe a thicker three. Nice enough that I'm going to use it and make something for summer. I thought about a top out of this. What kind of a top? Summer top. Or springtime top. Are you going to wear it? I'll wear it for the picture. You're not going to wear it around on it? No, then I'll donate it. I thought it. you looked really good in a, several of the, all the crochet tops. But a couple of them, I like want to print out the picture and put it on my wall. He's just saying that because he's on camera. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't really say that. No. No, he always tells me that I look good in my crochet actually he says I look good in anything even when I'm walking around in my big old snuggy at night but kind of scary in that thing what you look good but scary at the he's same a time. he's a sweet man I, you know I like crochet and I love crocheting and designing but 
wearing it is just not my style. I'm a t-shirts and jeans type of person. She prefers knit, actually. I like knitted for things. clothing. No, not even clothing. Wear. I have like, I like. We have a jacket. I have a knitted jacket, a couple knitted jackets that I have, handmade knitted jackets. But I only wear hats and I'll wear crochet or knitted hats and sometimes a scarf once in a while. But I don't wear like shawls nor, um, you know, Ponchos and stuff. tops or anything like that. Not because I don't love it, because I do. I do love crochet and I love the way it looks. I just don't like it on me. Um, that's all. You know, everybody's got their own. Gotta be comfortable in what you own, so. Yes. Everybody's got their own style. And just because I don't wear it, I mean, doesn't mean I shouldn't be allowed to do it, right? It doesn't mean you don't appreciate it. I do appreciate it. And I think it looks beautiful on other people. And I have fun donating it to other people and giving it away to other people. So, I mean. And as long as everybody enjoys it, then. Everybody's happy on all ends. I'm happy. Okay. What you got here? Oh, my gosh. That yeah, is pretty. pretty cool. Look it up. This is called a Gazal Unicorn Hand Painted. Ooh. It came undone. It tank came undone. This one's beautiful. Everyone's going to want this one. She don't want it. She's going to want something it. made out of it. Okay, so these you don't even get to really pick a color, it just comes. So you need to pick is. a color. Where's the color at? Go to the main page. What do you mean? Oh, we am. Um, that's Shabbat's not. No, I thought you were going to unicorn and that was the Here. color that came up. Dang it, my non touchscreen computer. I know she keeps touching it. I don't like, like it's gonna, it. Like it's going to do something. Oh, there I you see go. Okay, so I got a few of these and let's read about them. That's the bottom that's one. The one. Okay, so these are $8 a piece, which isn't bad for what it is. It's Gazal Unicorn Hand Painted. I seen this on another site, and this was actually cheaper at Hobium. There are 215 yards of 100% superwash merino wool. Now, that is a good deal in my book. Um, for, uh, for what it is, it's a good deal. Let's see, there are no dye lots, of course, usually, you know, hand dyed yarn, there's not usually dye lots, I don't think, but, uh, kind of difficult, wouldn't it? Buying enough yarn at one time to complete each individual project is recommended, made in Turkey, um, it's super washed, so, you know, it won't felt, 215 yards, made in Turkey. Beautiful. What so color? is this the kind that gets thicker and thinner as it goes? Oh yes, it's a very, it's a roving style. So look at that. Roving is my favorite though. So and this is a four weight. But as with rovings, it's going to go from thick to thin. So you might see places that it appears to be like a bulky, like right here, might kind of looks maybe like a. And then thinner. Right it could there. be like a five weight, and then there'll, there'll be spaces that are thin, like a three weight. But usually it'll level at a certain weight, and this would be about a four. This one is very, very pretty. What color is it? Is so, it, I don't think it even says a color name. No color name? Does it have a no, color no. number? 1331 three, is the <laughs> color. But if you go, you can plainly see it. It's uh, They don't have a lot of colors to choose from. But gosh, is it ever pretty. Oh, you can buy a five pack and get make, get them for seven twenty. That is mm. cheap. Not cheap bad, like cheap. It's just inexpensive. Husbands hide but the credit it's cards. Nice. What? I said husbands hide the credit cards. <laughs> I like that. So I got some more of that. This one I got is very, very beautiful. This one is one three three zero is a number. Super beautiful. I like this. I didn't get all the colors. Yeah, okay, Maybe I should go back. <gasps> Look at that one. Mm. I can't wait to cake these up. One, three, three, six. I'm caking no. them up right when we get no, done. No, you All ruin them. them. Caking them. You'll ruin them. You wish that was a cast iron skillet, don't you? Yes. <laughs> she does. Trust me. I threaten him with the cast iron skillet mm. all the time. <laughs> it's Joe. It's a big Dutch oven. She could barely pick it it's up. Jo <laughs> this one's my favorite. Oh, look at this one. I like it too. Ah, I think I'm gonna make a hat out of that for myself because you know I got a hat. Can I cake it? A hat. Of You're gonna make a hat? No, you can't cake it now. I don't know if I'm gonna make a hat. Quit it with the cake and cake it too. I I had, babe, you're making this video too long. I'm sorry. I had seven 
hanks of yarn up there for you to cake and everything set up and it sat there all day and you didn't cake it and i came in here and caked it she and said five... i want to cake these yarns and then left no i had no idea i, I said supposed babe, to will cake you cake them. The... i come back she comes back and says why are the yarns caked i said and babe, i said i didn't know i was supposed to cake them i said babe will you cake this yarn up for me since you like to do it so much and he said yes and i set up the, i love the it Swift why wouldn't i do it it's cool and the caker or the yarn ball winder and the, all this, all the hanks were sitting there. I master. come back later, and it's still sitting there. So I did it myself, and it wasn't five minutes later. He came in here. Let's see. What? I have to be a hundred percent certain that I'm supposed to cake something because I know if I cake something, I'm not supposed to cake. It could be a mistake. But I told you, it's all setting out perfectly, setting up for you. And it wasn't five minutes later. It's like you you waited for me to get done, and you came in and go, "Oh, I was going to do that." Don't lie. You were not. I don't remember happening like that at all? But <laughs> that one's beautiful. That's my favorite out of all the yarn we got so far. This happens to be my favorite. I got I like one more yarn sure. to show you. Um, this one is 1339. I don't know. This reminds me of Gary from Urban Yarns, too. Gary, if you're watching, you like it? I don't know. <laughs> Seems like something maybe you'd like, too. You got a little bit of the orange. That is pretty. I like all those colors, so I do. Okay, and then they had one more. Um, they said it was a four weight yeah, on the cool. side, but I wasn't hmm. sure if it was going to be a four weight or not. So let's look at it. This is called Gazal Happy Feet, hand painted, 75% superwash merino and 25% polyamide, 360 yards. So you can wash it because it's superwash. Now, what did they say on the side? They said it was a four weight. And I kind of wasn't thinking that was going to... It's, it's 750 a hank. 750 a hank. Oh, my. No 10% off. So, yeah, it says it's a four weight. Yeah. It's like a three. Eight. I'll let you guys judge. That's probably a sock weight. You guys I'm let sure me... It would be sock weight. It's called happy. Weight. That's why I thought. Because there was so much yardage, too. I thought they had that misclassified. Anyways, I can't make socks. But I did get a few for giveaways for later dates beautiful isn't it yeah i like that stuff that's such a deal on these I man like this blue one. that one cool. is number color number three two four six i remember this is the happy feet i definitely like that unicorn a lot i'm gonna have to get some more of this a uh, color and i might no i don't think i'll make a hat maybe i'll make a hat and a scarf i need to get a couple more so i can cake it right no when i use it if you cake a yarn before you use it it stretches it yeah but if you're gonna make a hat are you going to make it on the hand? I'm not making it today. Now I'm going to crochet it. Really? Enough with the you cake. You can make it on the attic? Enough with the cake and I want to make a tutorial on it with crochet. I like caking up yarn more than you like cakes. No, you don't. I love cakes. Okay, and then there's this one. That one's really pretty. There's, I guess that's how they play. The colors play out. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Yeah, stripey. Cool. If you make them right. That's super cool. Socks are. I don't know anything. Socks difficult. Or I something. I don't even like crochet Doesn't socks. Doesn't this thing do socks? The socks? small one does. Oh, the small one. But do we have the small one? Yeah. And then there is. I got this one too. This is three two four five on the number, and this one is three two four three. They had a lot of pretty colors in this too. But again, I knew pretty much that it wasn't going to be four weight because it was for making socks, and. Um, there was so much yardage in it, so. 360 yards? Yeah. <laughs> is that enough for a pair? 750 is a good deal. I have no idea if that's enough for a pair. Or do you have to buy Those who knit 750 can, a sock? I don't know. Those who knit can let me know if, if 350 yards of a sock, sock weight or a very, very light three probably is, is enough to make a pair of socks, or do you need to get two because it doesn't really say. But anyways, that's it clear winners that's today all? that's all their new oh, yarn this is your favorite oh man color. i gotta go back and get some more of this these all are good um, colors though i love all this unicorn yarn is a home run this manhattan yarn is a home run this both rowans are out of the park um this basic is a very good deal for the money i like it i like everything that i got i do that one was still the best deal wasn't it what the basic yeah I don't know. That's a pretty good deal for these. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of yards. That's 215 in this one. Though. 215 for a four weight roving style, 100% uh, superwash merino, hand paint or hand dyed. How much do you think it'd usually be? 
I don't know. You go to any... What would you pay for? I don't I bought them. If I was a vendor on the street and I said, hey, look at this, and it was that color. I bought them from... 10, 20? I think I'd, I paid from any guy or anywhere from 25 to I you said that you $40 a hank. $25 it, is about normal for I would say 25 to 30 is probably normal, but you do want to support your local businesses too if you can. Oh, yeah. So that's why I do that. But no, I was yeah. just teasing you. But yeah, but this is a great deal for those, you know, that can't afford to, to buy from any dyers like that. This is a good deal. This is a good deal. Good job, Hobium. I like everything. I like all your new yarn. Props to you. Keep getting some more in. Big ups. Yeah, we love it. So thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, thanks. I hope I didn't uh, make the video too long. He always makes she the video too long. She always says that I make the video too long, but... I can't wait to make My presence some... is time consuming. I don't know. I have to make a few things first. I can't wait to get my hands on all this. Actually, make the hat so I can no, take no, that no. Out. Will you shut up about cake and? Uh, it would look good as a cake. What? It would look good. It as would a look cake. pretty as a cake, but he's got some. I don't know why he keeps talking about cake and a yarn. Like I said, you had so much to cake and you didn't cake it. I feel bad. About I mean, that. I, you feel bad about it now. Now you feel bad about now it. Now we're cake, talking I'm about cake. All this up for you because no, I feel bad. You can't cake it until I'm ready. I have to get more of this, so I'm not ready. I'm sure you'll let me. You'll let me know. Yeah. I'll set it up for you and it'll sit there again. And I'll pick it up. She always says these things. She says I'm a, procra a procrastinator. But I just don't see it. I if I make a mistake on a blanket. You know, she gives me a blanket to crochet. like, And it's like five feet long. It's a baby blanket. Babies are little. But I think she thinks it's funny. And I ask her, is this the length or the width? And she says, it's the width. So it's not five feet long, no. it's five feet wide. That's not it. You know, I, I make a mistake on a row, and I'd already crocheted another row after it. So I know I sound like a big baby. I right tell now. you to count your stitches, don't I? Yeah. I'm a noob. <laughs> hey, you're not a noob. And just so you know, you can't blame your fault on me. I told you that I wanted you to make this video with me at like two o'clock. And it's now almost nine and at night. At two o'clock. And see what a we procrastinator were in here, is? No, you were on the phone. You we were in here carrying yarn. Okay, the video is too long. You were in there talking to your mom after you got off the phone with your mom, and then you start talking to your friend, and I'm like, Were you gonna make this video? You're like, Yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Yik yak. It was my friend. That's where Evelyn he just gets her yik yak. Hey, from. I got a new job. So I just sat in here and just waiting, like, hmm, hmm, hmm. Wishing I could open up this box of yarn, but I wanted you to be on camera because everybody was asking if you were sick and why you weren't on camera. I'm not sick. <laughs> we're gonna go. Now you got to listen. So I'm cutting all this out. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, we love you. Happy crocheting. And stay safe. Good job, Hobium, if you're watching. Um, yes. I love all this. And I will repurchase some more Unicorn, definitely, and Manhattan. In Rowan, if I get more money, not this month though, maybe next Does month. Does that mean some will be ending up in giveaways? No, no. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. If you repurchase. I, I'll probably keep these two for sure, but the, these will go in giveaways. The uh, sock yarn, because I can't make socks. But anyways, yeah, I can't put my Rowan in giveaways because I got that specifically for stuff. But anyways, enough. I'm going. Uh, see you guys later. Stay safe.